Look, the specifics on the issue of American support and partnership with the YPG are hard, but the general outlines are not as hard. And I think if we can get those nailed down first, then we can turn to the more specific thorny questions uh, like the, the YPG being present in the Syrian town of Manbij. At a broader level, uh, Turkey should accept that the United States is going to continue to work with and provide support for the YPG in an ongoing fight to make sure that ISIS cannot retake territory in eastern Syria. In return, the U.S. should give Turkey assurances that it will do everything in its power to make sure that its Syrian Kurdish partners are not posing a direct threat, a military threat, to Turkey itself. And second, I think that the United States has to say to Turkey, it's your job to reach out to Turkish Kurds to try to get back to the table, to get back to diplomatic negotiations. And for our part, we will work hard to separate the YPG and the PKK and encourage Turkish-Kurdish uh, diplomatic talks. And then third and finally, we need Turkey to recognize that at the end of the day, the Syrian Kurds need to have some confidence in their political future within a, uh, a, a post-conflict Syria and that they need to be reasonable about the level of autonomy that they're prepared to accept and we need to be transparent with the Turks about how we're helping to address their ongoing concerns. If you put those pieces together alongside a continued fight against ISIS and a focus on the counterterrorism mission in Syria, I think you have the makings of a potential way forward with Turkey. Not that it's going to be easy, it's going to be very hard, but that is what we have to be focused on.